When I was 12, my grandfather passed away. Uh, this would be my mother's father, and his nickname was Grandfather. Yeah, each grandparents had their own nicknames. That's how grandparents work. But he was a very uh, formal, strict person, so that was, that was his nickname. A week before he passed away, my mother and I flew down to Florida to see him because we knew he was sick and was going to probably pass soon. I don't know why my brother and sister didn't go. I believe I went, I was like in sixth grade at this time. Uh, I think I went because my mother wanted to keep an eye on me. I was kind of suicidal at that age of my life. Um, I ended up having to switch uh, units because of bullying from one side of the school to the other side of the school. Those are stories for another time. Anyway, what I do remember is because this was really significant for me. So this would have been around 83 and uh, smoking was still allowed on flights at this time. So you had the little ashtrays in the, in the, in the, in the uh, side pockets and they still gave meals like hot, they were TV dinners. We still had hot meals served to you even though this was a very short flight from Jersey to Florida. So it was just over a two hour flight. Um, Yay. Well, I do distinctly, distinctly, distinctly remember, besides having this nice hot meal, is my ears popped. And I went deaf. Completely. I could not hear anything. I don't know why that happened. But we get off the plane, and my mom's trying to talk to me. She's five feet away. No idea what she's saying. I can't hear anything. Now, I would think that this would be considered serious, but I don't know if she thought I was joking or whatnot. She just wanted to like do a wait and see. Well, about 36 hours later. So like after a day, I started to hear a little bit, and then after two days, I was able to hear fine. But it was very awkward now going to see my grandfather, who's on his deathbed, and he's old and he can't hear, and here I can't hear, and we're both saying what to each other. Again, it was a very awkward experience. I dislike chewing gum. I dislike gum. But to this day, anytime I fly, I always have to chew gum when taking off and landing because I just don't want that to ever happen again. I think of my five senses. Yeah, that was probably the easiest one I could lose. But I still don't want to lose any of them. So, yeah, that's that story. Thanks.